All right, guys, Drew's Farm and Life back again today. I have just finished plowing this field, doing the heat rig. So, if you can't already tell, there's a few trees around the outside. So, I need to try and get out the cab. It's a bit of a bugger to try and get out, put your arm out and pull it round. Uh, I'll give the plow a little clean and then I'll go oil it up, put it away for the summer and uh, get the cedar on then I can finally get my shot of the cedar so <laughs> here we go <laughs> seems to have caught everything there's an idiot in the mirror <laughs> oh, that's That's about right. That's that one that's going to be awkward. Still couldn't get the paint off, so it's next year. I'm going to properly buff it with sandpaper, I think, just to get that off. The last round has all been roots. Choke the plough quite a bit. <clears throat> I think the top side was better actually. It seemed to clean up a bit better. I don't know why, but it has. run it's always <laughs> always chokes my plow then you just get fed up and you just keep driving well on that I think I've done a good job in this field hope I, hope I was able to show you how well it was done in my last video with the uh, drone shots I got Still not made that video yet right enough, it's all in the camera Oh this will fall off right enough so It's just these Right, I'll go oil it up, put it in the shed and that'll preserve the metal for the summer no rust no rust means a better start so yep here we go nothing fancy just a rag on a stick get some oil on about it There we go, all done. That'll be her till the winter barley needs ploughed. So, perfect. I'll be sad to see her put away. <laughs> Just realised that I'll not be able to put this tractor on the <coughs> cedar because uh, this tractor doesn't allow you to put the tractor into a thousand shaft 
unless you change the PTO to a thousand spline at the, at the shaft on the tractor and uh, Cedar's PTO shaft is a 540 so I, I, if I put this on it it would only be running at 540 which is no use so looks like I I'm going to get to use a 7040, the 300 horse tractor, on the seat drill. <laughs> and then Dad will have to put this on the fertilizer spinner. So, Yaldi. <laughs> Seriously, does anyone want a boat? I want rid of it. Just sitting there. Kind of thing you need to watch the window for, eh? So that's that. Now I need to put the stand back on it, and then I can unhitch the plow. mind right I need a hammer to get it on unfortunately although I do like using hammers Took a bit of fine tuning. Once I think I have it now. The spacers. Another next problem. No. Not really that much of a problem really, to be honest. And you've got a hammer. And that's you. <laughs> you are free. Perfect. What in the hell has Dad been doing? The cab's all stew. Has he been sewing with the back window open? This is ridiculous. Right. Now to hitch the cedar up. And I'll take the GPS out for him. Because that'll be going on the fair spinner, I think. So. Hey. A bit of a pain in the arse. Wires everywhere. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Lift up, there we go. <laughs> Not very many people can do that. 
I'm taking the piss. You get there first. Very decent. I like this throw. I like look at it anyway. Not a shot of you yet. So here we go. <laughs> Okay, that's everything all ready to go, I think. Just to plug the control box in. counter works right enough but I don't know what I'm doing don't want that on that because I think that means it's on tram line which I don't want. No tram lights. I think, hopefully Dad's not been tram lining. He doesn't use he doesn't use the markers and that was on zero so hopefully that doesn't mean it's been tram lining the whole time. <laughs> oh dear. Okay so there's around 200 kilos of seed in the drill. Um so I couldn't fill it. <clears throat> you know because it I think it's just over half a ton the box holds so um I couldn't really put another bag in it till I get it down a bit so I'll just go sew this bunch see how I get on and then fill it <laughs> so just need to see how all this goes I am going to try the markers and uh, see how I get on with them dad just seems to look down at the mud guards but I think if you look straight down the middle of the bonnet That'll be far better. I've never, I've never used the seed drill with markers at work, so if they're there, why not use them? Try it out, see what the ha see what the crack is, and I'll try and sort that out so that it's not on zero. Move the markers a couple of times and actually go up one or two there, and then switch it off. Not the box, so like switch that off. I think stop stops the tram lines if it stops counting then I'll know see how it's working there right and then if I do that stop Didn't count. Yeah, that's what I want to see that not moving and it's not tram lining, hopefully. <laughs> so our soil's pretty good. See that's one run with a power harrow just round the hole. And uh it just turns to powder basically, well maybe not powder but crumbles it up very nicely in a one pass so don't need to work the ground too much which is great so I'm just going to come down to the hedge line here and start 
the first run going down there. We'll work our way back, see how I get on. <laughs> Never used the marker, so this will be interesting. I don't even know what gear to go in. <laughs> Right, let's just go for it then, eh? That looks pretty good. This is going not so bad, actually, I think. It's a lot easier driving, looking up the middle of the bonnet, right up that line. The marker's doing all the work. <laughs> we'll just need to see how it does. When it grows. Yeah, beautiful job. See how I'm doing. notification hang works or alarm or whatever you call it to tell you when there's not a lot of seed left I'll maybe need to phone dad and see what the crack is with that <laughs> so here we are I need to get my first load of barley for the seed up hang started beeping at me very very loud so um, I presume that must be the alarm for it being low because it was quite low which was handy I think this seed variety is Diablo so I will see what the difference is between it and Planet which is sown down here at the main farm there's one field of Diablo here and then there's going to be two up the road
good. Oh, big wheelies. <laughs> Quite heavy. Need a heavier weight block. <laughs> It's just a wee bit of a steepy bit there. Dacus. Yeah, it's not as big as a big hill, but uh, it's got a wee slope. <laughs> Getting a bit more used to this now. Quite like it. Just getting used to doing all the wee things. Beast. So, this is about as much as I can really show you about it, to be honest. But, uh, I'll put the drone up later and uh, I fly it around me when I'm a bit more confident in this. <laughs> uh, but, aye, no, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you all next time. <laughs> Cheerio, bye.